Uh, October 17th, 1989. Uh, uh, late in the day, five o'clock or so in the afternoon. I think it was like 518 to be exact. And, and you were, uh, you were in, I at work, in, you're at work in downtown San Francisco. I'm in San Francisco on Montgomery Street. And it was the end of the work day. The end of the work day. And I was on the phone calling Janice Stanfield to invite her. Really? To Thanksgiving dinner. Wow. Yes, for the first time. Okay. And... As and then, I, and this is a high rise. You're in a uh, high rise building. I, I'm on the sixth floor of a building. It wasn't. It was only like nine stories. Okay. But um, right next door to at that time, the tallest building in San Francisco, which was 140 New Montgomery, it was the headquarters for the Pacific Telephone for years and years and years. Now it's dwarfed by all the other buildings. However. Okay, so I was, it was my birthday. Right, happy birthday. And so I was meeting someone for a cocktail at the hotel two blocks away. After, all after work. Yes, yeah. after work. Um, we were meeting at like six o'clock. And so this is like 518. I call it Janet to invite them for Thanksgiving. You guys are in college. Uh -huh. time. I was at UCSB right. in, a, in, a, in a pottery class. And <laughs> Stacy was in San Diego. And um, so as we were talking on the phone, the earthquake hit. So being a good San Franciscan raised in, this, <laughs> raised in earthquakes, I just took my phone and went under the, ta the desk. And, and you I kept said, talking? Pardon? You kept talking? Yes, I kept talking. <laughs> I go... I go we're having an earthquake. Could she feel it too or not oh, yet? Oh yeah. She said, oh, you should see. she's in the East Bay, East San Francisco You should Bay. see my pool. She was in Danville. You should see my pool. It looks like the ocean. It's going back and forth. Sloshing. Right. And I said, oh my God. I go, this is really an earthquake. This is a serious one. So we, I hung up. And it seemed like it went on for a long time? It did. It seemed... I've been through a number of earthquakes, and it was the longest one I had experienced. And some of them are jarring, and some of them are more rolling. This How was, yeah, this was a... Sh like, like that, yeah. Violent shocking. Right, it Violent was. shaking. It was. And so, because um, the other ones I've been through, very little damage, things fall off shelves, that kind of stuff. But this cracked buildings and did a lot of bad damage. Anyhow, so then I call... You at school, I call your um, residence. This is before yeah. cell phones. It was there, was there was no cell phones then. I called your house, and uh, the kid that answered said, "You're the second mom that's called." <laughs> I'm just calling up to tell you <laughs> to tell Sean I'm still alive and I'm okay, and I'm in the city and I'm fine. So then I called my mom, and you know, make sure she was okay, and she was freaked out. And I said, but... It was also in the city. Also in, also in the city, yeah. And I said, living in a house built in the 1920s. And I said, are you okay? And she said, yeah. And I said, but I'm scared. And I go, well, that's okay. You can be scared, but you're okay, right? Yes. Stuff fell out of the medicine cabinet and blah, 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 blah. I go, but nothing crumb. You know, the house didn't crumble, right? Right. No. Okay. So I, I said, I'm okay. You know, whatever. My sister was on her way home. From San from Ramon? From San Ramon in a commuting... From San Ramon to San Francisco. From San Ramon to San Francisco. And she was commuting with a carpool. And was on the Bay Bridge. When it, well, when the actual shaking started? Yes. I don't know if I remember that. Okay. She was on the bridge, but they were just getting off on the San Francisco side. And what happened is the bridge collapsed, but farther down. The Bay Bridge, yeah. The Bay Bridge, yeah. Uh, the upper Close, segment fell onto the lower to, segment. Yeah. And it didn't fall into the ocean right. or, the, or the bay, but right. it, it did fall into the lower deck. And um, amazingly, not a lot of people were killed because 
it was World Series in San Francisco. Yes, it was just as the start of the World Series. And so lots of folks anticipated that and were not on the highway because they knew it was going to be a huge traffic jam, So, which probably saved lots of lives. So then, okay, so then at my office, the, few, the people that were left, most of the people leave at 4.30. Um, most, and so there were a few people left and um, I said, who's in charge of emergency? And this gal said, me. <laughs> and I said, okay, where's the cabinet with all the emergency supplies? And she was totally scattered. She didn't, she was like probably the worst person to put in charge of emergency. So, Excellent. So I, I took over, got the stuff, you know, we had flashlights and things like that emergency kits. Nobody got hurt or anything, you know, physically hurt in, in our building. But um, we, and then all of a sudden, okay, first of all, I called all these people, you. And now it was, Mama, the power was still working and stuff and, in the room. And the phones were working. Power, and then all of a sudden the power went out. Huh. And then eventually the phones went out. To, to your building or the whole The downtown? whole city, the whole city. Yeah. yeah. And, um, because they shut things off um, right. because for you know, safety and for, precaution yeah, and everything. Exactly. Like that, yeah. And they cut, sh shut down BART because they wanted to inspect the tunnel under the bay. Right. And so BART Bay Area Rapid Transit. Area, that's yeah. the that's the um, subway system that and, and light rail that goes around San Francisco and the Bay Area. Correct. And so um, and so that kind of keeps you that kind of gets you stranded if you're in San Francisco and you want to go to the East Bay. The alternate would be a go around the city, the other end of the city, and go to the Golden Gate Bridge. So, um, anyhow, so what I did is what my coworker said, I drove in today, and she lived in Walnut Creek. I lived in Pleasant Hill, which are right next door to each other. And she said, I'll give you a ride home. I said, okay. So we walked to her car. And I said, which was in like a basement parking garage? No, it was in a, an outside um, parking lot, which no longer exists because now it's buildings, right? Uh -huh. But there used to be several lots around there. And so, you know, a few blocks away. So we get in the car and I said, turn on the radio. She goes, there's no power. I go, the radio in the car is not the same. <laughs> Not the same as the electric. So she was a lightning. She, 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 was, yeah. she was a super sharp lady. She saying. was. She was freaked out. So she said, so we start driving toward the bridge and all of a sudden- Wait, wait first of all, when you turn on the radio, what was, was it chaos like, on the radio? Well, it, it was saying, you know, we've had an earthquake and da 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 and, um, you know, try to get to your destination as best you can and everybody should go home and all that, mm -hmm. you know. And so we head for the bridge and all of a sudden, all these people are walking off the bridge. And we're going, oh my God. This like is hundreds and hundreds and thousands of people walking off the bridge. I wouldn't say thousands, but a lot of people. Um, and so, and some people are backing off, you know, in their cars. And some people have just left their cars and because I guess they were stranded. Freaking. Yeah. Yeah. And so, um, and they're coming off the bridge and it, it's reminded me of the movie, an old movie called The Fly where people or running away from this fly <laughs> and they're running off a bridge. And I, that was the thing I flashed on. So my friend and I take an alternate route. She goes, okay, let's go to my mom's. She lives in the city. So we're downtown. We have to go put her around through the marina to go out to her mom's house. So we go over this, um, I forget the name of it. It was a freeway overpass. Um, that took you over downtown San Francisco and brought you out toward the marina. Uh, like the next day it was condemned, but we didn't know that, so we we're on it. So well, it was a flyover. It wasn't called the Embarcadero Expressway, it was, was it? The Embarcadero Free, I think it was called the Embarcadero Freeway. Okay, yeah. okay. And so they dismantled it, you know. Yeah. But anyhow, so we took that, ended up in the marina, we're driving on this main road like California Street, and you can see all these places that are damaged and these houses are crumbled. I mean, like, uh, they're called, we call them flats. You'd probably call them condos today. Uh -huh. <laughs> Anyhow, um, and so 
they were a couple of them were crumbled you know like the whole floor was gone and like, then, like the, not, not that something had fallen onto them but the buildings just, yeah, they just internally collapsed just like but, yeah. yeah it's just yeah like you had disintegrated yeah and um and then we could look down toward the water and there was fire and i went oh my god this is like deja vu of 1906 yeah earthquake which my grandmother was in and so um anyhow and that kind of destroyed the city in, in 1906. um so which, they, which was destroyed not by the earthquake but by the fires that fire came in the wake a, yeah, of the earthquake it was, it was an earthquake originated and then a big fire and so people were evacuated from the city and all that but so i, I was thinking deja vu right right so then we drive along california we go out to the what we call the avenues it's numbered streets and um and the, so the ocean side of right, san francisco it's toward, it's toward the 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 ocean and so um on the way this girl has a ford an old ford mustang and it's only seats like four people it was a two-door and it actually was a convertible so um but we didn't have the top down and so we and was it cold on. when you're driving was it was it warm out was no, it no it was it was October 17th, which is nice weather in San Francisco. So, so it, it was wasn't sunny, freezing cold, at least. Yeah, it was a sunny, okay. sunny day, yeah. And so um, we were driving along, and then all these people, I expected people to just be going crazy, but they weren't. They actually were uh, in control, you know. Calm. I, I was shocked. Yeah, I was shocked at how calm everybody was. But when we got out of the building, uh, first of all, leaving the building, the stairway had crumbled, and so we're walking over chunks of concrete. You know. Wait, wait, wait. You mean you mean in you, my building? You mean the the stairs were gone, or things had fallen no, off? Things the had stairs. fallen off. The, you know, the, walls. The walls. And stuff. Uh, right. So there's all this debris, and and there's um, emergency lights to light it up, like sort of battery powered. They lights. did have they did have a backup lights, yes, in the stairways, because otherwise there's no windows, and so it's. Black, right? And you had on heels, or you had on sneakers, or what were you wearing when you're walking through all this crazy? See, what I used to do is I would wear heels at my desk, but to and from the office I would wear flats. So, and then I'd have a bag, and so I'm sure I had flats on then. And because uh, there's no way I could have gone down in my heels, <laughs> with chunks of <laughs> chunks of stuff. And so, um, and then, and, and like I say, when we got to the sidewalk out of the building people were not running they were calmly walking and that isn't what i expected i yeah. expected yeah. chaos yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah but it was pretty amazing and um and the friend i was supposed to be meeting okay. did not know that there was an earthquake she was driving to downtown san francisco and she thought she had a flat tire so she, really because it just went on so it she, bumped, bumped, bumped. yeah wow. so she pulled over and um checked her tires and didn't see anything wrong so she continued to go so huh. i called we were meeting at this hotel and so i called the hotel and i said i'm supposed to meet somebody there my name is kathy anderson i'm supposed to meet someone there um they go lady we just had an earthquake <laughs> i go i know i'm like two blocks away and i said but in case that person shows up i don't want them worried about me so is there any way i could leave a message because she did go there. Of course, the whole world is leaving. But anyhow, some of the folks in my building didn't have a way to get home. So they, that particular day, it's ironic, this Marriott Hotel opened up on 4th, 4th Street. In downtown. Downtown San Francisco, 4th yeah, and Market, so which was a block and a half away. Well, to, to, uh, one block this way and then two blocks that way and um and so they opened up the facility and it was this high rise they called it the music box because it looks like a, uh -huh. a jukebox uh -huh. on the top. Uh -huh. and so they offered people shelter there that's cool yeah and so for like, free yeah, for free that's cool and so people just slept on the on the right the carpet, tiles and stuff the yeah. carpet and the banquet rooms cool and then they were able to I mean they had some kind of food they could give them I don't know what it was cool so several of my workmates 
spent the night there. And that's probably where I would have been had Irene not driven her car. <laughs> and so, um, anyhow, so then we we're go going along and all these people are just anxious to get home and the buses are full. And so these people are standing there, a guy and a gal. So she said, okay, we're going to 25th Avenue if that'll help. The guy just jumps in, the, the lady, two different strangers, they jump in the back seat. They go, we just have to get home to our kids. So we're driving along, but then we get to 19th Avenue, which is a thoroughfare through the city, but it's a city street and it's bam, slam. So we're like inching along. All of a sudden her um, odometer or the- um, Gas gas The heat. Oh, oh, overheating. Yeah, it's going like this, getting hotter and hotter <laughs> and hotter. And I'm going, I hope this car doesn't blow up. <laughs> and so I'm thinking, okay, she's out of water, you right, know, she, right, right. whatever. And um, so we managed to limp through and get to what was called Slope, which is still there, Slope Boulevard, and drop these two people off because then they could walk to their residence from that oh. location. And then we took a U-turn and came back and went down side streets to get to her mom's. And when we got to her mom's, the power was out. But her mother had a gas stove, so she cooked us dinner, she cooked pasta and um, flashlights. And we spent the night. And now how long did it take you to go from, from like downtown to get to your friend's to mom's house? Two hours. Which normally would take like 20 minutes or something. Correct. 15, 20 minutes, yeah. It took two hours, okay. Yes, because it was just, you know, yep. gridlock. And um, so we spent the night, and then, in the meantime, your father called my mom um, to see Again, if I Again, before was, cell phones. Right, to see if I was okay, because that was always our plan. My mother was like the central focus. And so she said, yeah, I was fine. I was in the city, but I was okay. So. The next day, um, Irene and I drove over the Golden Gate Bridge and stopped by Dad's studio. And in, in Marin just, County. And just left a, yeah, left a note that I was okay and I'm on my way home. And, um, and then uh, she drove me to my car and I went home. So, <clears throat> yeah, it was interesting. So then everybody said, stay home for a couple of days, right? Don't go to work. You can't go to work in the city, and you couldn't get there unless you, know, you went the long way, anyhow. <clears throat> and um, so then, because I was working in downtown San Francisco, they said, "One second. <laughs> they said, "I don't go to San Ramon because satellite I could, office. I could work, yeah, in that location." So I did that for a couple of days, and then. And then they, um, well, they quickly fixed the bridge, but they, um, you still couldn't go over it for a few weeks. And then, uh, but part was started up again. Yeah. So uh, that's how I went to work. And so how long did it take to get your, like you said, their stuff had fallen in the, in the um, uh, for example, in the stairway, how long did it take them to get the building physically okay? Pretty quickly? Well, the, phys the building never, got physically okay. <laughs> but, um, let's see, it took them about two weeks to clear the stairways and do all that stuff and do the inspections. But it was on the need earthquake proofing list, you know, and then, and then like- So you just never went back to work in that building? I did go back to work in that building. And then, um, and then I transferred to another assignment. So mm -hmm. then I worked in San Ramon. So, yeah. But so did they demolish that building and put a new one in its place, or is it still no, there? No, as far as I know, it's still there. They just you know retrofitted what? it. They just retrofitted it. Yeah. Um, probably in today's world, it would have been better for them to tear it down, but uh -huh. not because of the value of property in San Francisco, but. So then what was the, what were the, what were the biggest changes you saw? Like, so you, you mentioned that, uh, you know, um, that some things got fixed fast, some things got fixed more slowly. Um, what was the biggest uh, impact you noticed before versus after the 89 quake? 
as far as fixing. Just in general, just in general, maybe people's behavior well, or whatever. In addition to the bridge section collapsing on top of the other layer, another um, freeway in Oakland totally collapsed. Remember right, that? Right, 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 right. And it that pancaked. took years. That took years to that because the entire thing was like a pancake. And I think 48 people were yes, killed wish, in yeah, their killed. cars. Um, some people were miraculously were saved. I mean, punched yeah, in their yeah, cars and yeah. stuff. But that was like major, major. And um, so that they took that whole thing down and rebuilt that. So that took years. And um, the bridge, I, I'm trying to remember how long it took them to fix it, but they were like that. They were on it like that, you know. Because it was one of the main Well, well the, the, the full, full fix, which was the, the other, like, span, was only fixed a few years ago. I mean, it, it, I mean the, oh. the, the, the complete re-engineering thing took, you know, decades, but... Oh, yeah, but then they rebuilt the whole entire section. That's what I mean, right, yeah. And that bridge is, like, two miles long or something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And so they built, yeah, they put that new section in. But I've heard stories that... The fabricated steel was not of the highest quality because they had lots of issues when they first opened up lots of issues and i think they got the china i mean they got the steel from china right right and I don't low think quality it was stuff highest right, yeah. grade yeah which was so stupid but um yeah i mean it's an attractive bridge it's a very impressive approach and all that but Safety is more important. What about what about? So, would you say that you behave differently after that earthquake, or your 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 colleagues behave differently, or not really? I would say not really. It's just that you become more aware of what the exit plan is. Uh -huh. You know, like if there's another emergency, people need to be do their jobs. <laughs> and this gal that was, I mean, I think you need to take people that can handle. Stress. stress or yeah. you know yeah change quickly and this person was was not that person so but yeah that, w that was the one thing I learned in that I mean of course and then the fact that okay what if you're stranded right how do you get right. A little, a little, yeah. yeah right yeah and that yeah. was a transportation big, that was a big lesson yeah yeah, there's a there's a, a cool podcast called um, that, that was started by the local uh, science reporter for local um npr station here in in um the uh la area and uh it was called the it's called the big one and it's a series it's a podcast so it's a series of stories but the way they um they tell stories about the Tri christ church earthquake in mm -hmm. new zealand etc but but the the main modality of the podcast is they do it as a drama so they they narrate it as if it's actually really happening and so and the big story is just like we were talking about people are at work which are you know in our society most people work far from their home right and then when the infrastructure or the public transportation or whatever breaks down how do you physically how do you communicate to people that you're okay but then or get help but then the other one is just how do you physically walk home you know mm -hmm. 30 miles or whatever the the distance is so yeah so that that seems right. to be a big in my case it would be like 35 miles and uh yeah over a bay <laughs> over a bay swimming for some I go walking the for some way, it's like 100 miles right right, right. cool maybe not that far but yeah and so that was the biggest earthquake you, even though you were it born was, and raised in san francisco that was the biggest earthquake it was you experienced the biggest earthquake in my lifetime uh -huh. one time when i was in junior high which you now call middle school <laughs> um there was an earthquake in the city and while you're at school um, actually, that particular day, I was not at school because I had to get an x-ray on my hand and my mom uh. was taking me to this place up on Mission Street. But my siblings were in school. And um, there was some damage to the school. That one was like a 5.4 5 or something like that earthquake. So it was a good earthquake. And there was some damage it, to our place. It was just stuff falling over and that kind of thing. But um, but when it struck, you were in the car? Uh, when we, no. Like when the My mom and happened? I were walking. On the street? On the street. And, no, I take that back. We were actually in the office where I was getting the x-ray. Uh -huh. So we, you know, we were always trained. 
stand under a doorway because it's the most yeah. safest. Door, door jam, yeah. Door jam because it's the most secure part of the structure. So my mom and I get up and we stand in the doorway and these guys, we're women, these guys freak out and run out in the street, which is <laughs> what you're not supposed to do. That sounds about right. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> so we stand there and then, you know, we had my x-ray and whatever, and then we walked home. And I remember, one thing that I remember is it was this liquor store and all the booze was on the floor and it was reeking of alcohol, right? And I went, oh my God, what a mess. Because all the bottles had right, toppled right, over. Right. Now, was that, was that the same kind of, was it like the same length? Or, 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 or at least did it seem long or it seemed like very short and done? That one was more of a rolling one. Uh -huh. I recall more of a rolling as opposed to the Loma Prieta one. Cool. The Loma Prieta was 7.6 or something, I think. 7. I thought it was, I thought it was 6 .9, but I have to. 6 but, I don't know, but, yeah. Something. Else. Well, you know, they change the numbers every right. day. <laughs> right, right, right. You know, Re they, reassess. They, they say it was this, and then they then they check it out and they go, no, it's this. You know, so. but it was a healthy one. Well, I'm glad that you survived. Now, nobody you knew died. Right? Nobody that I knew died, but there were folks. Sure, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, good. Well, I'm glad you survived. That was good. Well, me too. That Thank was good. You. <laughs> All right.